and welcome back to our humble little workshop here in Shropshire. What I'm going to introduce you to today um, is a coffee tamper kit, which is this bit here. Now, if you've ever turned one of our bottle stoppers, you will see that some of the fittings are remarkably similar. Um, in fact, they're not similar, they're exactly the same, and there's a good reason for that. There is the coffee tamper kit. Uh, it takes an M8 screw which we provide with the kit with a little uh, hex key fitting, 4mm hex key fitting in there and also one of our stock wood insert screws and they go together like so. Now this doesn't look like a very big kit and if you see it on the website you'll see it's not the cheapest kit in the world um, and there's a good reason for that. Um, the main reason is the quality of the uh, product it's made from. It's a it's a food grade uh, 306 stainless steel, solid stainless steel. This is extremely heavy um, and it's actually one of the heaviest kits if not the heaviest kit we actually do um, and I'm just going to demonstrate that very quickly now. Now here I've got one of our largest bottle stopper kits, the teardrop bottle stopper kit and if you've had one of these um, and made one you'll know that these are quite substantial and really quite heavy um, and in my usual scientific way I've got a plank here um, with a, a centre bar. I've got four of these um, bottle stoppers at this end, I can't get them all right to the end and here is um, the coffee tamper kit and that gives you an idea if you if the camera saw that I was watching what I was doing hopefully the camera will catch that you will see quite how heavy that kit is so that's, that's considerably heavier than four bottle stoppers um, so I could weigh it and told you what the weight is I think it's just under 300 grams for the whole kit uh, but I thought that perhaps demonstrated it just a, a little bit better uh, and because the fittings are the same it works on exactly the same system as the bottle stoppers and I've got that set up and I'm just going to do a very quick um, guide as to how to, to make and fit a, a coffee tamper um, if you've seen these on a website anywhere ready made you will know that these fetch a substantial amount of money even if you buy a finished one from China it's probably going to set you back 20 to 25 pounds something like that um, certainly for one of this quality uh, and this is a 51 mil diameter um, tamper um, anyway we'll crack on um, I've got the bit set up on the lathe uh, and I'll run you through um, exactly how to drill mount and turn for this pretty simple project now I've got a blank here, um, I glued these uh, bits of wood together, I'm not entirely sure what they are, um, it's oak and something else, um, I can't quite remember. Um, but basically what I've done uh, is drill a pilot hole, I started off drilling a 6mm pilot hole, I then drilled an 11mm pilot hole and put a little countersink in the top and that is to take the wood insert screw. The wood insert screw takes an 8mm hex key which isn't provided but hopefully you've, uh, if you've certainly if you've used our system you have one of these and you'll see and I'm not going to um, con you that I have already put this in it's only to make it easier for me to do it on the camera um, you can use other sizes than uh, 11 millimeter hole in this if you wish to it's not an exact science because wood is not an exact science and each piece of wood is very slightly different um, and the reason I did this off camera is so because I did it on the in a vice where I could hold it a bit better just to save me taking the camera all the way to the other side of the workshop frankly watching a man drilling a hole and screwing a screw in isn't particularly instructive um, or interesting so there we go that's the wood insert screw and you'll see here exactly the same as our bottle stoppers we've got our little mandrel and this is going to screw straight onto the mandrel there and we're going to start off by supporting it at the tail stock while we turn this round and get the shape right then we'll look at the measurements um, and just before we finish we'll just remove the tail stock just to finish the end off now the blank I've started with here today as I said is one I've had um, glued together for quite a long time and in my infinite wisdom I've chosen this one to do and I haven't got it quite centred. This is, as most of our videos are, a warts and all video. It's not quite in the centre on this back piece here. I'm hoping by the time it's curved off that the fact that it's not quite centred won't be too noticeable. 
Um, but we'll crack on and do this. This blanket is uh, 80 millimeters long, but obviously with this type of kit, you can make it as long or short as you want to. Um, and that's the beauty of these types of kits is you can make it whatever size you, you want. You're not limited by, dare I mention, the dreaded brass tube kits that just limit you to anything you can do with them. Um, so let's crack on and get this round and then we'll look at measuring to get the right bits, the right size, and then the final shaping and finishing. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take my tamper kit and I'm actually going to measure the internal there and that is coming out 29.7 just under 30 millimeters and I'll lock that off because that is the size that I want to fit in this section here and there's a little bit you can see um, there's a little indent there where the handle is going to sit into and then you can shape it whatever shape you want to if you wanted to overlap it you could overlap it but I'm going to make my fit inside this little disc just for neatness uh, and to make sure it, when it's screwed on it's screwed up nice and tight to this solid stainless steel base here Now I've got that the right size, I'm now just going to do the rest of the shape of the handle on the top. see that starting to sh take shape just before I take this end off and remove the tails just going to make sure it feels quite nice to hold and it's quite nice to just check that yeah you can hold that and it's quite comfortable um, so I'm now just going to remove the tail stock tidy at this end and then we'll look at just finishing the, the turn piece So the proof of the pudding, as they say, is in the eating. Um, I'm going to start off with putting the thread part into the top of the tamper, like so. Uh, and this is the point. If you were doing acrylics and you've um, done a thread for the in the acrylic, an M8 thread in the acrylic, that's what this little section here is quite useful for. You can get an Allen key and screw it directly in. Um, but we've got that on there. And now we'll just remove the handle from the lathe. You'll obviously spend as long as you want finishing those. And we'll screw the handle directly into the tamper. And there we have one finished tamper kit. Um, and if you need to wash it, you can of course unscrew that, take the handle off, wash the stainless steel part without getting the wooden handle wet. And hopefully it's not even too obvious, I haven't got it quite in the in the centre there. I think you could do with a little bit more uh, polishing off um, on there, but that is quite a substantial and nice kit. So a pretty simple project, um, hopefully quite a nice impressive one and if you're looking at selling things on craft fairs um, or on the internet of course these um, do as I said before fetch quite a lot of money. It's a very heavy weighty kit that you barely need to put any pressure um, on your coffee um, in there to tamp it down properly and as I said before you can make this as long, short, whatever shape you like basically uh, as long as it fits into that little section there. So very straightforward but quite a heavy and impressive kit. Um, thanks very much for joining me again. Uh, safe turning and happy turning. I'll put a still of that up on our website now so you can see um, as we do with all our stuff because I check everything before it goes on the website um, and make it except hinges I can't make every one of them. Um, we'll actually put this one on the website so you can see what I've done today is the finished product. There's no trickery, we don't do trickery, we hopefully just do 
good, solid uh, and fun kits to make. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.